believe, as everyone knows at this particular point, uh, og e has been directed by the Southwest Power Pool to uh, reduce our load. And the way we accomplish that is through uh, temporary service interruptions. As Kent mentioned, natural gas is increasingly high demand and very limited quantities. Um, it's causing uh, issues on the electric grid here in Oklahoma, Texas, all the way to Canada. And, you know, we're seeing the same limited supplies. Of course, that's affecting utilities' ability to generate power. And uh, that's what's leading to uh, the, what, what's necessitating uh, this call to uh, reduce our load. That's being compounded, again, by the extreme cold weather. A lot of our equipment, uh, like uh, in the natural gas industry, is freezing and causing uh, extended problems. And uh, we've also seen, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, renewable energy is uh, been offline for the better part of uh, three or four days. Uh, last week's freezing fog brought a lot of the wind generation offline. Uh, we haven't seen that uh, return. We're hopeful that with the sunshine today, some of that uh, wind capacity will be back online. But as I mentioned, we are um, doing uh, temporary service interruptions across our footprint. And when we do this, we initiate uh, short-term outages, um, much like we might have uh, in a winter storm or a thunderstorm situation. Uh, customers at some point throughout the day may lose uh, power for an hour or so. We're trying to limit the time that uh, customers are actually without power due to the extreme cold. Much of this is subject to change. At this particular point, uh, we're seeing uh, roughly 2 to 4 percent of our customers being affected by an outage at some point. Um, the request from the Southwest Power Pool has not been great, but again, as we go into Tuesday and we see some of these uh, state, federal offices uh, return to work, some of those that are closed for the holiday, it will continue to put stress on the grid system-wide here in Oklahoma as well uh, as across the region. Currently, our suppliers of natural gas are experiencing freeze-offs at the wellhead due to the extreme cold. This is impacting the amount of gas they are able to provide to us. We want to make the public aware that as a result, we could see widespread outages across our service territory. This means customers could lose gas service to their homes and businesses. With this disruption in supply, there is the potential we could have outages. Should we lose service, it will take an extended length of time to get your service restored. Once the system is operating again, we need to visit each home and business to reinitiate gas service. This makes the need for energy conservation even more important. We are asking everyone to please reduce your natural gas usage in your home or business and use as little as possible until further notice. If we all do our part, we can help reduce the number of people who could lose their natural gas service in these extremely cold conditions.